In this video, we will find the polar form of the two complex number. The first one is Z1 is equal to minus 5 iota. In this complex number, the real part is 0 and the imaginary part is equal to minus 5. Since the complex number is on the negative imaginary axis, so the principal argument theta principal argument of z1 which is equal to theta will be equal to alpha where alpha is equal to tangent inverse y by x for any complex number z equal to x plus iota y where x is the real part of the complex number and y is the imaginary part of complex number so firstly we will find r which is equal to mod of z1 which is equal to minus 5 square whole square root which is equal to square root 25 which is equal to 5 so r is equal to 5 now we will find the value of alpha which is equal to tangent inverse y by x here the imaginary part which is y is equal to minus 5 and real part x is 0 so we will have minus 5 by 0 which is equal to tangent inverse infinity which is equal to pi by 2 so alpha is equal to pi by 2 since the complex number is on the negative imaginary axis so argument of z1 which is equal to theta will be equal to minus times if the complex number is on the negative imaginary axis then theta is equal to minus alpha so it will be equal to minus alpha so theta is equal to minus pi by 2 now we will put these values in the polar form of the complex number which is r cos theta plus iota sin theta we know that the value of r is equal to 5 and theta is equal to minus pi by 2 so we get cos minus pi by 2 plus iota sin minus pi by 2 from the trigonometric identities we know that cos minus pi by 2 is equal to cos pi by 2 and sine minus pi by 2 is equal to minus sine pi by 2 so this equation will become z1 is equal to 5 cos pi by 2 minus iota sine pi by 2 this is the polar form of the complex number z1 equal to minus 5 iota in example the complex number is z2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 iota in this example the real part is minus 2 and the imaginary part is 2 and we can see that the complex number is in second quadrant when the complex number is in second quadrant then argument of that complex number which in this case is z2 is equal to pi minus alpha where alpha is the angle that the, this complex number makes with the positive real axis and that angle is equal to tangent inverse y by x for any complex number z equal to x plus iota y firstly we will find the value of r which is equal to mod of z2 which is equal to minus 2 square plus 2 square 
होल स्केयर विच इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस फोर होल स्केयर विच इज इक्वल टू एट होल स्क्र वी कैन आल्सो राइट इट एज टू स्केयर रूट टू सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर नो वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एल्फा विच इज इक्वल टू टेंजेंट इनवर्स वाई ओवर एक्स इन दिस केस वाई इज टू एंड एक्स इज माइनस टू टेंजेंट इनवर्स माइन टू डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय फोर नाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा व्हिच इज द प्रिंसिपल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जी टू व्हिच विल बी इन दिस केस व्हेन द कंप्लेक्स नंबर इज इन सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट विल बी इक्वल टू पाई माइनस अल्फा व्हिच इज पाई माइनस पाई बाय फोर सिंस द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा इज पाई बाय फोर so which is equal to 3 pi by 4 we know that the polar form of any complex number is equal to r cos theta plus iota sin theta r is equal to 2 square root 2 and theta is equal to 3 pi by 4 for this complex number so z2 in polar form will be equal to 2 square root 2 cos 3 pi by 4 plus iota sin 3 pi by 4 so this is the polar form of the complex number z2 equal to minus 2 plus 2 iota